Hello, good people of YouTube. Sea Lord here, and well, boys, the devs are in it again. They got the good stuff, the exquisite Zaza, if you will, because these ships that have been announced today, I don't know how else they came up with them. So, if you want to read along as I read aloud, link to this is in the description down below. If you find this video informational or entertaining, please drop a like, leave a comment. Helps out on the YouTube side of things. But let's go ahead and get on into it. There's a lot to unpack in this episode. So, again, link to this is in the description down below. Of course, checking out the dev blog for the ships that were announced today, the 11th of August. A date which will live in infamy because, yeah. Alright. So, this dev blog says, New ships, closed testing, 12.8. Update 12.8 brings four new ships, French battleship Picardy, Italian cruiser Michelangelo, Soviet battleship Navarin, and Soviet cruiser Commissar. So they start with the Frenchie, which is the most normal out of these ships. Battleship Picardy's design is our hypothetical alteration of the Leon class battleship. The key differences between the Picardy and Leon is the main battery. Picardy is armed with 16 305mm model 1910 guns with improved mounts similar to those installed on cruiser Toulon. In keeping with the French Navy's naming convention of its battleships such as Bretagne, Normandy, Alsace, etc., Picardy is named after a historical region in northern France. Picardy's numerous guns have a quick reload time, but not the best accuracy and armor penetration capabilities. The combination of a well-protected citadel and good concealment makes her a great ship for quick and aggressive close-range engagements with the enemy. However, being under heavy enemy fire can prove quite dangerous, as the ship has a small HP pool. Her consumables are represented by a repair party and main battery reload booster in different slots. So the Picardy, she has... 53,000 hit points at tier 8, that is quite low. She does have 32mm plating. I assume it's you know, the typical French battleship armor scheme. Uh, so 4x4, 305mm guns with a firing range of 22.7 kilometers. She has a Sigma of 1.5. Oof, that's ouch. But a 25 second reload. So again, Wargaming is going more into this 16 gun battleship scheme. And we, we're getting another tier 8 ship with this gun setup. Uh, repair party, 28 seconds, 267 HP per second, with an 80 second reload time and four charges. Um, damage con has a 15 second run time. Her reload booster, you get a charge of 50% for 20 seconds. So you turn that 25 second reload time into, uh, what's that, 17 and change, or at 17 and a half seconds, something like that. So, yeah, no, that's gonna be like yeah, 25. Yeah, yeah, no, that's more like 13, 13, 12.5. Yeah, 12.5 seconds. I was thinking of 34 seconds for some reason, or 35 seconds. Okay, so 25 second reload time, 1.5 sigma though. Oh, that's not. Mm. And with not the best AP ever. I mean, the AP does 8,000 maximum damage. But again, they say it doesn't have the best armor penetration capabilities. So maybe a cruiser deleter? I don't know. We'll see. It, it looks ridiculous. But um, this is the most normal ship on this list. So get ready, fellas, as we continue on down to the Michelangelo, which is a new Tier 9 Italian cruiser. So they say Michelangelo is a reinterpretation of the 1935 Italian medium displacement battleship design but in the form of a large cruiser or cruiser killer one of these blueprints were f was for a ship with eight 320 millimeter guns and two quadruple main turrets placed amidships in order for this cruiser killer uh, killer to achieve a speed of over 30 knots the diesel pro pro propulsion plant of the original design had to be replaced with more traditional steam turbines Needless to say, Michelangelo is named after the great Italian Renaissance sculptor and painter. I thought it was a turtle. In this regard, the cruiser stands abreast of such Regia Marina warships such as Dante Alighieri, Leonardo da Vinci, and Marco Polo. Michelangelo is armed with eight 320mm main battery guns which have limited firing angles. The ship also has numerous secondary guns armed with sap shells which can deal good damage thus compensating for Michelangelo's relatively weak main battery guns. 
Michelangelo is also armed with torpedoes that have wide launching angles, deal high damage, and have high speeds, but there are few torpedoes per salvo. The ship has a large HP pool, good concealment values, and repair party, but is not distinguished by good armor and citadel protection. Michelangelo can gain an extra advantage over the enemy in battle thanks to the com combination of the exhaust smoke generator and hydroacoustic search, ooh that's spicy, with a long range in separate slots. However, Michelangelo lacks the engine boost consumable which makes the ship slow compared to other Italian cruisers. This thing is... what? It... <laughs> what? So if you look at the image right here, those two turrets on the front you would be forgiven for thinking, oh, there's the main battery guns. No, it's those two turrets behind it. This ship has no guns on the front or on the stern. Both of the turrets are in the middle. I <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know how you're going to make this work. Unless the thing truly does just have god tier sap secondaries with great range. Because you, you got to show your midsection to get those guns off. You can't shoot forward at all. Like, at least the French battleships, the turrets are in the front. So, you know, you can shoot what your ship's aiming at. How are, you, you can't use your main guns and be, ang be sharply angled at all. Like, it's not like, yeah, you lose half of your guns when you angle in. There, there are no guns when you angle in, except for your secondaries. But this ship sounds so weird crazy and i'm not sure if it's crazy goods so high damage torps numerous sack secondaries according to the dev blog so let's uh let's take a look at the parameters so 66,000 hit points on a cruiser that's pretty good 25 millimeter plating 60 second fires though ouch uh 22 percent torpedo damage reduction uh two by four 320s with a firing range of 17 kilometers Maximum AP shell damage, 9,700. And the SAP shells, she has 10,250 uh, alpha damage on that. So it's AP and SAP. 83mm uh, of SAP penetration. And a reload time of 24 seconds on 8 guns. God, that's... I mean, I get they're, they're big guns for a cruiser, but given their position... Oh, boy. 30 second 180 time, a sigma of 2.05, and maximum dispersion of 191 meters. Alright, um, let's see. So for a secondary, she has uh, 20 of the 90 millimeter sap secondaries, and then 3 of those quad mounted 152s. So, 2 of those quad mounted 152s are on the front, and she has 20 of the 90 millimeter guns. Is it? Yeah, 10 by 2. So she has 10 dual mounted turrets of the 90 millimeter guns what's their range though it seven kilometers base so once you build into it that's what 10 i think off the top of my head goes going by the cruiser or what, what you can take for the cruisers which is really just the module so 10 kilometers mm. but you do get damage con oh of course you get damage con. i'm sorry you do get exhaust smoke and hydro and it's a long duration hydro too, and long range. So it lasts for 120 seconds, so two minutes, and it has a six kilometer range with the exhaust smoke generator. So that is a pretty powerful combo in and of itself. But again, the way the main turrets are set up, how? <laughs> I don't know how this thing's going to work. What are the torpedoes like? So uh, torpedoes. So you get two sets of three torpedoes. 20,000 alpha, 72 knots, and a range of 8 kilometers. I mean, yeah, that's that's a 60k torpedo alpha per torpedo uh, rack. So, yeah, especially when it's just three torps. I don't know. Like, it's interesting. It's definitely something I would build in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. But it also seems like it's just not going to be practical. I bet you this is a dockyard ship. I bet you anything. This is going to be a dockyard ship in like 12.8 or 12.9 or, or whatever. Oh, Lord. Now, here's the thing. That's still not the craziest ship on this list. We're getting there. All right. Up next is the Navarin, which is a tier 9 Soviet battleship. 
They say in early 1914, after laying down of all four Ismail-class battle cruisers, the development of future battleships began in the Russian Empire. Among the most notable blueprints were those for several 40,000 to 47,000 ton ships with 12 16-inch guns. The Varun is a tr traditional name for the Russian Navy since 1827, when a combined Russian, British, and French fleet defeated an Ottoman and Egyptian squadron at the Battle of Navarino. The, this name was historically given to one of the battleships that sank in the Battle of Tsushima, as well as one of the Ismail class battle cruisers. The Varun is armed with 12 406mm main battery guns, which have low accuracy. The aft end main battery turrets can rotate 360 degrees. The ship is also armed with a large number of rapid-firing secondary guns. The Varn has high concealment values but low speed and a small HP pool. However, unlike the Tech Tree Soviet battleships, its main battery guns have standard dispersion and the ship has low HP. At the same time, the Varn is equipped with numerous fast-firing secondary guns with a standard battleship firing range. It also has good concealment. Did they put that in there twice or am I just getting the Zaza? Uh, no, that they, they put that in there twice. Okay. Therefore, the ship will perfectly suit players who enjoy risky and quick ambushes in the close quarters. That's a rough translation. So, it's like a, it's a 19-teens, a turn-of-the-century battleship at Tier 9. Ooh, okay. So, what they do this thing? Hit point, 69, nice. 1,400, 32mm plating, 18% torpedo protection. Uh, main battery guns, 3x4, 406s, with a 20.8 kilometer firing range. Um, what's its... Oh, God! A Sigma of 1.4. Oh, no. And a 33 second reload time. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's... Wow. I get it's got 12 16-inch guns, and they are Russian 16-inch guns. But 1.4 Sigma and a 33 second reload time? Sheesh. Okay. Wow. So the secondary gun, she has 18 130 millimeter guns, 7 kilometer range. And then she has 16 130 millimeter, 30 millimeter guns with a 7 kilometer range. So I'm guessing some of those are the, uh, yeah, the um, ones mounted in the hull. And then you have the ones mounted on the deck. I'm assuming that's what the. Uh, difference is there with those uh what's the reload time they don't say huh i would assume it'd be like three four ish seconds this high up so yeah <laughs> Ooh, 27.5 knot top speed ouch that's uh that do be slow so she does she, she do she does get the fast damage con so the russian damage con uh, 10 second run time, 40 second recharge, 4 charges of that. And repair party. Uh, 28 seconds, 347 HP per second, and reloads in 86. What, what's this concealment? That's what was advertised here. Uh, uh, 14.9. Okay, that's pretty good. That's base too, so you can get that down quite a bit. Probably, what, 11-ish? Maybe, maybe 10? I don't know if we can get it down to 10. I think 11-ish is where you'll be able to get it down with the module and the um, and the commander skill. Yeah, probably 11. Either, like, mid-11 or, like, close to 12. Okay. That's pretty kooky. And now we get to the main attraction. The Commissar. Wait to you hear this one fellas you all are going to love it so the commissar in 1934 simultaneously with the creation of a new generation of light cruisers the soviet union began the development of a modern heavy cruiser desi uh, designated as project x developed outside of the framework of international treaties the x cruiser was a powerful ship in terms of characteristics fast and with strong artillery armament which was based on 12 240 millimeter guns and universal 130 millimeter mounts. The name Commissar was chosen based on the Soviet convention during the 1930s of giving ships named re, giving ships names related directly to the USSR. Again, that's a wonderful translation. You ready for this part? Commissar is a hybrid cruiser that has access to a squadron of attack aircraft equipped with HE rockets and the fighter consumable. So not only is she a hybrid, 
her hybrid aircraft can call in fighters. The ship is armed with 12 240mm, those are Petro, main battery guns which deal high damage per salvo. Commissar is also armed with torpedoes which have decent speed and deal decent damage but have few torpedoes per salvo. The ship has a small HP pool, weak armor and low maneuverability but high speed. The recommended combat range of Commissar is medium to high so finding a favorable position in the battlefield is essential for the ship in order to unleash its full potential. While Commissar can deal good damage with a variety of armaments, getting caught off guard or being under fire by several enemy ships might quickly send this cruiser back to port. Consumables are represented by Repair Party, which has an increased number of charges and a fast cooldown, as well as Hydroacoustic Search or DFAA, which will share the same slot. Hybrid Soviet cruisers, ladies and gentlemen, and let's see what type of aircraft it has. It is a tier 10. So it might have the um, Soviet Tiny 10s. So 43,800, pretty low HP for a large cruiser like this. 25mm plating, but 30 second fires. That's actually pretty nice. 4x3, 240, so again 12 of Petro's guns with a 17.2 kilometer firing range. AP does 6200 maximum damage. Uh, HE does 3450 maximum damage and 40 millimeters of pen, and it has a 20% chance of causing fire. What's the reload time? 13.5 uh, seconds, so that, that's pretty good. And let's see the torpedoes. So again, 2x3, 533s, 15,100 maximum damage, 10 kilometer range, 60 knot speed. So yeah, like they said, decent damage, decent speed, decent range, but not a lot of them. Uh, secondary, she does get 12 of the 130mm guns. Let's see, the attack aircraft. They have 1,090 hit points. They cruise at 168 knots. 208 knots is their boost speed. Six per attacking flight, so you get six. And they have two a two-minute restoration time, so like the other hybrid ships, you launch them, use them. Well, actually, you, you launch them, and then the timer starts ticking down, so that's pretty nice. All right. So, 40 rockets in the payload, 4,050 maximum damage. Oh, God, so four rockets per payload times six rockets. That's, ooh, yeah. That's, um, <laughs> that's 16 rockets, okay. So, 4,000 times 16, you got like 50-ish thousand alpha there, potentially. But they only pin 40 millimeters of armor, and they have a 22% fire chance. So, not quite crazy um, HE rockets, but I mean, still, 40 is enough to get over 32, so, yeah. So, damage con, 5-second uh, damage con, 60-second reload time, and it's not the quick cooldown, so you have an unlimited amount of those. Repair party, 28 seconds, 219 HP per second, and you get 4 charges of that, and they reload in 40 seconds, okay? Uh, you get Hydro, again, it's either that or DFAA. The Hydro goes out to 5 kilometers uh, and has a runtime of 100 seconds. Oh boy, Commissar. Honestly, it doesn't sound too crazy. It's going to really depend upon how accurate its guns are, which they are 12 Petro guns. Uh, let me see, Sigma 2.05, 152 meter maximum dispersion. Oh, that's actually quite accurate. Oh, dang. Well then. Huh. <laughs> but... Again, it's got 43k HP as a large cruiser, so that's um, that's definitely well underneath the averages at tier 10. So guys, those are the four new ships that are coming to the game. We got two crazy weird cruisers, two very odd battleships. I don't know what, again, the devs have gotten into or, or, or what they're being forced to roll out, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's some pretty kooky stuff so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and uh, what ship you're most excited for and looking forward to and what ship you want to know more about in the comments down below hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to drop a like and leave a comment we are on our way to 50,000 subscribers we're getting very close to that goal thanks to you guys and I cannot thank you guys enough for that hope you guys have a great Saturday and a great rest of your weekend hope to catch you guys in the next one